Peace, family. This is Lions Day with another news and commentary. This is articles coming from the, the Grio, um, called Dining While Black, Students Waiting to Order, Forced Away by Food Truck Co-Owner. Interesting. A Portland, in, a Portland eatery is getting slammed after a black customer. A Portland eatery is getting slammed after a black customer said he was discriminated against by a co-owner of Chicken Gun, Chicken and Guns food truck as he waited for a restaurant to open so he can grab a bite to eat before taking a final exam, according Eater.com. Kevin Racer claimed food truck co-owner Duxon Knox, a white man, summoned a for, for a cop to remove him from the premises and said that Racer said loitering and homeless. Racer's friend Jason Keepler shared the story on social media saying it was racist and it went viral. I was asked to leave the food court on the corner of Hawthorne for no reason, he said. I was homeless and loitering. What I was doing was waiting for chickens and guns to open so I can so I could eat before my final exam, Racer said. Sadly, Racer's racist experience joins the ranks of many other incidents that have been that, that have seen black people defend themselves for doing everyday tasks after having the cops call on them by a white person. Racer said Knox did in fact wave an officer over his way and asked that he remove him from the front of his property. Racer said the cop was polite. Others came forward on, on next door thread to confirm. Racer's story. A witness, Gina Carlton, says she saw Knox harassing a man of color within the pod. Dustin started yelling at him, If you don't get out of here, I will snap your dog's neck, she wrote. Another person who commented said Knox has a history of discrimination against people of color and shared an incident with where his Asian girlfriend was harassed by Knox. My girlfriend, who is Asian, was hanging out there one night this past winter, says user user Alex Williams. She was approached by the owner, who immediately asked if she was homeless, then told her to leave. Keebler has since removed the post after this tremendous response. Earlier, I had, I had a post up about a food cart that hassled my friend Kevin Racer. He asked me to take it down, so I, so, so I have privated the post. He writes, I know this will disappoint some people, but sick that the same friend that I put it up to support asked me to take it down. But people in support of Racer has taken the issue directly to Carr's Facebook page. Temporarily, public information officer Sergeant Peter Simpson said they don't have a record of, of the reported call and admitted, and admitted it's hard to trace such a call without a direct cell number. Chicken and Guns have yet to address the incident pu pu um, pu uh, publicity. So, we got another restaurant discriminated, discriminated against another African-American person in their establishment. And f for those of you who live in the Portland, Oregon area, remember this restaurant right here, Chickens and Guns. Stay away from it. Boycott it. Don't go. Don't don't spend no money in there. See, we have to sh we have to show the we got to show the establishment that we don't have to go there. We don't have to sh eat there. We don't even have to shop at the at those on, on those places. We got to show them that we're not going to take it anymore. That either we cook at home or we go to a black establishment or a black restaurant to eat. Or to settle down. That's the only way we can stop all of this. We got incidents in um, in in Louisiana at a Chili's that basically they will not allow a, a black I mean, people. I mean, black friends to even go to their restaurant. Then you have another incident at at a Waffle House. Multiple incidents at a Waffle House. Then you have another incident in Virginia with another restaurant. See, this is what I'm saying. That this this has to stop. And time and time again, black people, we need to stop going into these establishments because obviously that's what they want. And I guarantee you, if we stop going there, 
if we boycott, I mean, financial boycotts of all of these establishments, I guarantee you, they're gonna lose money. People gonna be like, "Oh, wow, we need the," they, and then and they know we they need our money. We need to keep money in our pockets and instead stay at home, or again go, or again go to a black owned business, black owned restaurants, and I, that will stop all of this. So. You know, again, I hope this guy will learn a lesson that we cannot just go anywhere if we we being mistreated like that. So we we can go ahead and um this another added another restaurant to not go anymore or boycott is Chicken and Guns in Portland. Let's stop going there. Let's let's, let's keep our money into our pockets. So. Um, basically, I hope this guy um, being discriminated against. Of course, um, if I were him, I would turn. I would get a lawyer, and not deal with this situation anymore. And just and just basically ra- suing them for racial discrimination, and not return to that restaurant ever again. Well, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this article. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my reaction channel. And subscribe to my Black Johnson channel for more news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.